two cousins, now co-defendants, appearing in a Clackamas County courtroom today. The pair are facing charges after a U.S. mail carrier was stabbed outside his apartment building last month and later died from his injuries. Digging deeper into this very disturbing case, Joel Jones has a report from outside the courthouse. Absolutely heartbreaking. Tristan Thomas's mother and his 13 year old daughter were inside the courtroom today. Earlier, I spoke with his brother and cousin who described Thomas as lovable, quirky, and vibrant, saying they can't imagine why anyone would want to hurt him with this level of aggression. And a warning some of this report is disturbing. You ready? Let's go do our homework. Hey, get back here. Get back here. <laughs> Described as lovable, here's 43-year-old Tristan Thomas playing on the playground when he was alive. Brother Phil and cousin Brandon still reeling from the loss. As cousins Chad Michael Westover and Samantha Christensen face charges in connection to his death. He's honestly like one of the nicest guys in the world. He was a pillar of the community. He, um, you know, before he was a postman, he was, um, he was a firefighter for the U.S. Forest Service. Clackamas County court records show Thomas called 911 just after 5 September 21st, reporting his neighbor had assaulted him outside the Twin Creeks apartments in Clackamas where they lived. There, deputies found Thomas badgered following a dispute which investigators say started over a parking spot but led to the neighbor reportedly punching Thomas 30 times and Thomas macing the neighbor. His brother says what happened next should have been avoided. These guys were just thugs. They just went after him. They attacked him multiple times that day and he just um, he was just a likable guy and again he was trying to reach out to the police and do things according to the law and these guys had a whole nother game plan. Prosecutors say the pair confronted Thomas with the neighbor later that night, accusing him of stalking the neighbor's 16 year old daughter. Westover reportedly stabbing Thomas multiple times. Documents show a neighbor recorded the moments leading up to the attack, during which Westover was heard saying, if you guys are done filming, I'll take care of it. Christensen replying, I'm done. Take care of it, Chad. Christensen faces charges of assault and evidence tampering as investigators say she took Thomas's phone. Westover, originally charged with assault, now faces second degree murder charges after Thomas died from his injuries two weeks later. We watched him take his last breath and it was hard, but it was also nice to know his suffering was over. I'm just hoping that the legal system will prevail and, um, and these people will, um, will go away for a long time. Now, a GoFundMe has been set up to support Thomas's family during this difficult time. You can find that fundraiser at coin.com. I did reach out to Westover's attorney who says his client is pleading not guilty by reason of self-defense. You can also find his statement at our website. Reporting in Oregon City tonight, I'm Joelle Jones, Quintix News.